Hi everyone, this is Marco from b-games.com and we're here doing another, let's go ahead and call this Marco's Plastic, because it has a nice ring to it. And I'll probably come up with some fancy title card or something uh, in the coming weeks, because I've decided that this is a series that I definitely want to continue with, and it seems um, a lot of people seem to like it, and you know, if, uh, if this gets good enough feedback, or people are interested enough in watching it, I can definitely continue these. Um, like I had said last, um, my next review is going to be on something that also recently came out. This came out maybe about a mm, month or so ago, tops. And this is the Legend Series Mobirates from Gokaiger slash... I guess you can consider it Gokaiger slash Gobusters since it came out during the, the, the season. Um, uh, when Ghostbusters already on. Uh, so what this is, is it's basically a Mobirates, which is the, the typical Morpher Henshin device from Gokaiger. Um, but it's, it's a re-release, it's a repaint with additional sounds and functions um, that came out during the Gobuster run since Gokaiger is already done and it, that's already done with. Uh, as far as the main series goes, uh, I know that there's movies and other things that are going to be coming out, but the series is done, so this is the, the special one. Uh, what this adds is it adds um, a different paint function scheme and it also adds additional sounds like I said um the the two that I know for a fact are new are the sound for go busters which is um, this series here and you can see that the the front of it has also been changed to reflect that there's a new go buster series it also has a sound for uh, Aka Ranger the Aka red key and in fact this comes with the Aka Red Key, a, a deluxe uh, Aka Red Key. To my knowledge, this is the only place you can get this key. Um, I don't think you can get this anywhere else, at least not in the deluxe faction. So if you want to pick up this key and be a completionist and you're one of those people, you have to pick this up. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out the box here. Um, as you can see, I unfortunately I don't have the original one for a comparison, but I can tell you that it, it's... um. It's very similar, although it has a little bit less focus on Gokaiger, more focus on everyone in general. Although Gokai Red is still at the front because, uh, like I said, this is ba basically the series he's being released on. Um, if you look at the top here, it has the the all the Red Rangers from the main series in order, including Gobuster Red, since he now took over for Gokai Red, um, and it goes all the way down through on the bottom here. Where it has the uh, the original, I guess uh, since it's 36 now, it would be 18 on top, 18 on bottom. Uh, so yeah, that's that's definitely hey, topical, definitely nice looking. If you look at the side here, uh, you can see the typical handoff kind of picture where they're together. It's a, an anniversary kind of collection thing. Um, you can see a picture of the actual mobile unit here, along with the Aka Red key. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to the back now. Uh, let's go to the other side real quick. You can see it's the same thing. I'm not really going to touch on that then. Uh, here is where things get interesting. You see that same picture that you had on the side. It also shows you an image of the Aka Red Key in its transformation. Um, you can see that a little bit better there. Autofocus is doing its job. And here you have the team up of the three, which is Gokai Red, Gobuster Red, and Aka Red. Um, since they're the main, um, they're the main three that I guess are being showed off on this. Um, it, it shows off everyone. You still have all the noises, but it, it wants you to focus on these guys. These are the guys that it wants you to look at. These are the ones that it's adding as far as noises go. Well, these two at least. The Gokai Red was already in there. Um, so let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, and you see there it has a a shot of the Go Buster keys, and it has a couple of other uh, pieces of information. So let's go ahead and open this up. So as you can see here, once you have it out, uh, you're automatically greeted with the instructions. Um, I'm not going to go through the instructions. It's, it's basic, you know, be careful. It has a bunch of funny animations and, and illustrations that are, you know, they're, they're very Japanese. I, I, I always am really fond of it, but we're not going to go through that. It's very similar to the one that you have in your mobile. It's what we're focusing on today is the actual device itself and uh, as you can see here it's it's definitely very nice so you have the main mobirates which comes open 
Um, and you also have the Aqua Ranger key. Uh, I had opened this before, which is why it doesn't have a plastic, but it does come with plastic. Um, so you can be assured that it's going to be secure when it's, when it's shipped to you and you open it up. Uh, I'm going to set this guy aside real quick. We're going to focus on the Mobirates first. So let me just go ahead and get rid of these. So as you can see, there you have the, the new Mobirates. It's definitely the same size as the original one with a couple of different paint applications. Uh, for comparison, I actually have the original Mobirates here. Um, the, the newer one being the one with the silver and, um, I'm sorry, the newer one being the, the one with the gold, the original being the one with the silver. Um, as you can see, that is actually the main difference there. It's it's a color swap where this one has gold being the lesser color and this one has gold being the main color. Um, you can see, you can flip it around. This one's mostly gold and this one's mostly silver. So it definitely flips it around. Um, this is mostly silver here and this is mostly gold now. And the middle part is the same. This is mostly gold, this is mostly silver. Other than that, for the molding, it's identical. There's nothing that I can see that's any different. Um, this sticker, which I'll go into more detail on, um, is the only real difference. The molding on both of these, you can see it's it's identical. The inside compartments, the speaker quality is almost exactly the same. Uh, if anything, this one's probably a little louder, but I have a feeling it's mostly because it hasn't gotten as much play as this one has. Um, so it's just one of those things that happens. And considering this thing isn't even a year old, maybe a little bit less than a year old, it, it's not bad. You know, it still works great. Uh, the LEDs are identical on these. The the noises that they make are the only difference. This one adds additional noises too so far. Uh, so let's go ahead and check um, check this guy out in a little more detail. I'm going to close this guy up here. And we're going to keep him here because we're going to use him for demonstrations as far as how these two compare. Uh, so looking at it in detail, the main thing that changed on the outside, other than the color, is the sticker here. Where the original one, which you can see here, reads Gokaiger. This one reads Mobilet, uh, or Mobirate. It's just the way it's pronounced in Japan. Uh, the sticker it, on this one is a cyan, kind of um, almost aqua color, much more reflective and much shinier than the one on the Gokaiger one. I definitely like this shade of blue a lot. Um, you can see that the font is also much bigger and taller and, and everything was moved a little bit. Uh, they're both the same size but they're able to fit a lot more on this one compared to this one because of the way they moved everything around. Uh, you can go down to the, the, the little intricate details like the um, the little green orb there is the same color, you know, they, they just they basically flip the colors. Anything that was silver on this guy is gold on this guy. Anything that was gold on, on, on them is basically vice versa. That's exactly what they did. Um, now looking at these, the shade on the red on the two is actually a little bit different. This is a darker, almost maroon. This is a much more... I want to say brighter red if that makes any sense. So this is darker, that's brighter. Other than that... No real difference. The green on both of these is exactly the same. The clip on the inside is the same. So let's go ahead and check out the uh, the keys that you get with this. So as you can see here, here we have the, the aqua red key, which is definitely very nicely done. Uh, you have the big, big helmet, who clearly lets you see who it is. Uh, really nicely painted. You have the, the 5V logo, if you will on his actual chest, including a five going down across. Um, in, in fact, it also carries out into these parts you can see here. It goes all the way down to his legs where you have a slightly different shade of red. Um, this key is definitely a DX. You can, you can tell by the way the, the pin is set up on these and just the overall build and the fact that there's no stickers on this guy. It, so you can't peel it off and it was already prepared. Um, you don't have to do anything out of the box. So I definitely like the way this key looks. Um, Opening it up, you can see the nice Aqua Ranger logo, which is right there. Uh, autofocus, 35 anniversary V. Uh, this is definitely really nicely done. You can see the code there for any of you that need it for whatever reason you might need it. And the way the uh, the actual key works is it has the divots here. Uh, one on top, one on the bottom, and I know that there are ways to trick the Mobirates into thinking that this key is actually inserted when it's not by blocking certain holes and things along that. So I figured, hey, if you guys need it, you know, might as well provide it, because I know that if I needed it, it would be nice to have. Uh, so what happens is, if you try and use this key in this guy right here, 
it will give you a generic Special Ranger key sound. But when you put him in this guy, let's see what happens. So as you can see, I have the batteries in here already. Same tone, doesn't change in any way that I can tell. And let's go ahead and insert the key here. Uh, have it upside down. There we go. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do it two times. Once so you can hear it, and once so you can actually see what happens. So it says Aka Red. So let's try that one more time. And this time I'm gonna point the speaker so you guys can actually hear it a little bit better. So definitely uh, really nice sounding explosion that you're used to hearing with these guys. Um, and like I said, if you were to pop this into the original mobile, it's all you would get is a special special ranger key sound, uh, which is a generic one that you get for any of the like the common Rider ones, or if you tried a, a Ghostbusters key. And uh, speaking of Ghostbusters, let's go ahead and check out what those look like and sound like. So here we have the Ranger key set for Go Busters. Um, this just came out and I also picked this up as well. Um, as you can see, it has Go Buster Red, Go Buster Blue, and Go Buster Yellow in their deluxe uh, Ranger key set. Um, if you tried popping these into the original, like I've said a couple times before, you get a generic special Ranger key um, noise. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to go ahead and show you what it sounds like when you pop one of these guys into the proper Mobirates and then afterwards just just for the sake of uh, being a completionist I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the the generic special Ranger key sound sounds like so let's go ahead and pop one of these guys out as you can see here we have a Go Buster Reds key uh, cameras having a little bit of trouble auto focusing so you have to bear with it a little bit uh, you can see the really nice detailing on the helmet I actually really like how this one came out they were able to get a lot of the little uh, pinstripe lines for his cheetah helmet uh, maybe if I back oh hey that's a little bit better uh, but yeah definitely a great effect on that you can see the little 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 dot of yellow there just to break it up I'm really impressed with how how detailed some of these keys are for being so small you have the visor and you have the actual the actual um, mouthpiece if you will for the helmet going down to his main body you have it broken up with the uh, the backpack straps which are these black lines here and the silver actual motif going down his uh, uh my finger threw off autofocus there let's uh, try autofocus there we go uh so you have his cufflinks as well you have the uh overall gray and then you go down to his legs you have a standard black and red um leggings or trousers or whatever you want to call them but this is definitely a really nice key you can tell who he is right off the bat one of my favorites so let's go ahead and check out the logo on the inside for the go buster series and you can see there as soon as autofocus kicks in there we go really nice looking um it has the the goggles it has the go busters logo um really really nice once again, uh, no number there. I'm not sure why this one doesn't have it or the other one did, but I'm sure there's a reason for it. Uh, and looking at the keys again, you know, just in case you need it, I'm here to help out. Uh, so let's go ahead and try this guy out in the Mobirates. Okay, trying out the Go Buster Red key in the Mobirates. I'm going to do it twice again like I did last time. So as you can hear, it says Go Buster, and then it has the uh, the Henshin Call music. So let's try that one more time so you guys can hear that a little bit clearer. Definitely very clear, very loud, very accurate to the way it sounds on the show, so they, they definitely did a good job there. Um... So th this guy will still work with all of your previous keys. Um, it's 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 versatile at the price that you're getting it for because it's easier to get. It's also definitely very good. Um, the the paint is still super high quality. The build on this, you feel like you can drop this and it might actually uh, stand a chance against it. Uh, where a lot of the American toys and a lot of other toys that you get in general just don't feel up up quite to the par. Uh, the hinge on this is still super super. Oh, I love that. Just that click. That's how you know toys well made when you can do that and it doesn't break. Uh, so. 
definitely a great value for these guys. So, so like overall, said, is it worth it's going it to pick up these guys out and absolutely. see what different noises they make? Let's if start off with the Aqua Red Key, which is the one that's included with the Mavirus. Even, so this is the one that you're going to be playing with Ocarina. anyways. These are uh, definitely worth your time so you guys can hear compared both of the to the original. It's exact same build quality. Just a, you, know, you get a different paint scheme. Uh, you get the addition of the Aqua Ranger Red Key, which you're not going to get anywhere else, at least not in the, in the okay, deluxe so fashion. Special Ranger you get key. additional noises, and then he and says, "All of this for the price noises. of about fifty to sixty dollars." In all reality, is a great price. Uh, they could have made this some super limited special edition, like they okay. have in the past, and that was with Aqua Red. Could be double, same triple, you're get, no matter what price. you do with him. They didn't. So, well, let's These are try easy to find uh, when you consider the fact that it just came out. It's it's not super sold out. But you will maybe have a little bit of trouble uh, finding it. But once you do, great price. So if you, you never picked up the original Mobirates, noise, definitely go no with this one. If you there. already have an original Mobirates, you know, pick this one up. It's worth your money. It's worth your time if you're a fan. Um, if you're a fan of the Mobirates or Gokaiger and you're maybe a little short on cash, I'd say maybe hold off on it a little bit. But if you have the money to spare, if it's not an issue, if it's not a concern, Definitely pick these guys up. They're great. Uh, also, the GoBuster key set. If you're a fan of the GoBuster series, if you're a fan of Gokaiger, or you like collecting the keys, they're definitely great. They're super high quality. Um, they're great. I picked all of these toys up from Vince over at CollectorsEdgeToys.com. Uh, the link should be appearing here. Like I said before, I pick up locally from him from Frankensons here in uh, in California. It's um, and the Asusa. City of Industry area, great little place if you guys have never um, been to LA or if you've been in the area, you maybe live in the area and don't know it exists. It's a great place where you can buy a lot of really cool stuff, a lot of collectible stuff, a lot of Sentai stuff. Um, but overall, these guys are great, worth your time, and definitely pick them up if you get a chance. If you have any questions, issues, concerns, regards, anything at all, be sure to email me at marco at bn-games.com. Subscribe. Leave a comment below. Have a nice day.